Hello everyone, thank you for joining as we um, look at what we need to stay in the race. Uh, today I just want to read for us from Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. The beginning of that passage, that verse says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Now as we um, go through life's journey, there are many struggles and there are many battles to be won uh, and these battles that we are talking about are spiritual battles okay and uh, for us as we win these battles we get promoted and we move forward in the assignment that god has for us so uh, today i want to encourage us to keep fighting those battles keep overcoming by the victory of the cross and uh, keep glorifying god now as uh, we talk about these battles just want to bring to us Mm, the enemies, you know, list out the different enemies that we may need to fight. Yes, uh, there are um, you know, spiritual forces, uh, demonic principalities and authorities that we fight against. And uh, many, of, uh, many, many of them uh, could cause you know, certain, uh, certain challenges for us. Now, not everything we face is demonic in nature, uh, but yes, you know, there are several enemies uh, that come against us so that we do not fulfill God's plan. Uh, internally, you know, I just want to uh, place before us, there are, there are certain challenges you know, that, that we could have in our mind, in our soul. Now, we already know that the, uh, the Bible says that the mind is the greatest battlefield. Now, without renewal of the mind, we can face uh, thoughts or thought patterns that can be difficult. Sometimes we go through a sense of inadequacy or uh, a sense of intimidation. We could face anxiety or you know, lack of clarity as far as you know, life is concerned, vision is concerned. There could be a sense of weariness or fatigue you know, that, that sort of uh, takes over us. There could be a fear of failure. There could be memories of the past that, that prevent us from moving forward. There can be several distractions, um, attitudes of the heart, maybe unforgiveness, bitterness that we carry. Uh, and also, as Bible talks about fleshly weaknesses, you know, lusts of the flesh. All of these things can be the internal struggles that a believer faces. But we already know that God has broken the power of sin over our lives. And therefore, we can overcome these enemies. But they can also be external enemies. If you uh, consider the life of Nehemiah as he was building the walls um, uh, of uh, you know, God's people, uh, there was temptation, there was opposition, there was um, uh, several personal attacks even that were made against him, but he did not get distracted through those external challenges and he stayed with the plan of completing the walls. Uh, and Therefore, I just want to encourage us today, whatever it is that you and I face, whether it is an internal enemy or an external enemy, we can overcome every single one of them because Jesus has won the victory for us on the cross. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, as your people, we declare victory, God. Father, no matter what it is that each person is facing, Lord, we pray that, uh, Lord, you will deliver them and God, that they will see uh, the power of the cross released upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.